For now, a shot of creativity to start your day. We're adding a modern flair to your front porch. It's never been cooler to have a container planter. Fill it with house plants or annuals from the garden center and plop it on the front porch. One way to freshen up that old pot is to give it something to sit on. It's a creative idea from do-it-yourselfer and our favorite modern design friend, Michelle Hinckley. Okay, Michelle, this is kind of new. Educate me on what I need to look for here. Okay, well, plants have made such a big resurgence in the world of design. And not just plants, but the planters are so cool that you just want to have the planters sitting out too. So, yes, we're talking all about planters and plants today. And we were laughing right before this, talking about growing up with these plants, these house plants, but now they're back. Right, right. right. They're they back, back in, and the planters are so cool. And I hate to say that they're trendy because really it's just a resurgence. Like what, old, what is old is new again. It's exactly the same thing. Everything Always. is coming back. Everything repeats itself, right? Yes. Okay, tell me where you found inspiration for this. This is a West Elm planter, and this I just fell in love with, and I thought, oh yes, my gosh. Yes, I can I, see why. <laughs> yeah, the, the planter is so cool, and I love that they've raised it up. It really has a hit of mid-century goodness. So this was kind of what I thought, gosh, I really want to recreate that look. So I started to look around. I got on Pinterest, and I thought, I wonder if I can DIY a lot of these things. And so I did. This first one, can you guess what this is? Oh, I, okay, so, so I was looking at this. Is it a tomato? Tomato? Yes. Whatever those tomato are. Tomato cage, right? Yes, right. tomato cage. So normally it's upside down. What I did is I flipped it, I cut the tops off, I spray painted it. And by the way, these come in almost any color you can imagine at the home um, improvement store. This one I did white, and then I just popped this planter in, and you could put it on your front porch, and it's just really cool. It looks so much better than having that just sit on your table or whatnot to have it in a really cool, unique planter. It is so funny because it really echoes that modern vibe yes. from the West Elm. Yes. And you're thinking, tomato plant, tomato right. kitchen, I have sitting in my garage. Right. Go no get one some gold know. spray paint, make <laughs> exactly. it happen. Exactly. I love it. Yes. What about the actual planter itself? Where do you find those? So these, this really is just a bowl and you can use that like, mm. I actually got this from a planter center and once you're done with it, you could use it as a salad bowl or a fruit bowl or whatever. <laughs> so it does this double is, duty. I love it. Anything yes. double duty. Okay, now this is a fun look too. Yes, so these are just baskets. You can get them at any big box store. To make it look a little bit more cool, all I did is I took that tape right there, I taped it around. It's kind of the dipped look, but I just used a paintbrush and I painted the bottom of it. So it has that two-tone look. Put a plant in it and then it looks really cool. It has a really unique style. Okay, I love that. And then you've even set this on a little, is this just a table you found? Or what is this that you've this kind of elevated? This is your table. <laughs> oh, sweet. This I love this table. table. <laughs> if you want one of these, just call me later. I can get you one of these. Studio <laughs> tables oh, are really okay, going to well, come back. on the studio <laughs> table. I love it. Okay, and, and you know, one other thing that I love about this is just that basket is kind of oversized. And actually, the plant is small, smaller than you'd expect for the size of the right, basket. Right, right. It kind of has like a modern feel and gives the um, basket some emphasis. Yes, exactly. And in fact, in fact, I just put a little bit of a riser in there, so if you have a smaller plant, then it just kind of gets, gets a little bit more height to it and it really fakes the look. Good idea, so yeah. throw some bricks or something in the bottom. Right. Okay, now we move over to kind of a smaller section of plants. Yes. These are fun that I wouldn't have thought of. Okay. Right, right, Walk right. Us through. Okay, so this first one over here, the black one, I actually found that at Savers for like $3. It was really chippy, I just spray painted it black, and you have a really cool hairpin mid-century planter look. So. Don't count out thrifting, yard sales. Maybe you've even got one in your uh, garage that's totally falling apart. Spray paint it, it brings new life to it. That's such a good idea. And the pot you've used, I mean, I think we all have one of these sitting in our Terracotta house pot, right? yeah, <laughs> you can get those at the home improvement store for just a few dollars, so that's a very easy one. The standard, okay. Yes. Okay, now moving up, this is so fun, this bold yellow. Yes, yes. Tell us so that. this one is actually a gainy pot. These go for several even hundreds of, hundreds of dollars online on eBay. Okay. So I got this from a friend and I thought, oh gosh, I really love that, but I wanna bring it up a little bit. And this is the mid-century look that was once cool and it's made a resurgence. You see a lot of these um, West Elm, Schoolhouse Electric, they're doing a really cool look on those. So I thought I can do that. I went on Pinterest, I found the instructions, I did it myself. I would say on a difficulty level, yeah. one to 10, it's probably about a seven. Okay, so it's yeah. hard. It's hard. Because it looks like it might be complicated to make it and make it sturdy enough that it can hold a pot. Is right. That where it's and I think the only tricky part is you have to have the right tools. Like you have to have a drill press and you have to have some specialty tools that even I didn't have. And my sweet neighbor, I went across the street and he has a whole shop and he said, Hey, can you help me? So if you've got the right tools, it's probably really easy. But 
The okay, tools is so this may be track. a little bit more complicated. Check for the tools before you jump into this project. Right, right. Okay, right, exactly. what about some of these other smaller plants? So I do want to mention that you don't necessarily have to use an actual planter when you're thinking about your plants. This one is actually a cup that I found at an estate sale. This is a planter. This is a candle holder. You know, everybody loves these air plants, which are so, which are so fun. I love these. Yeah. They're so awesome. Do you have these in so your home? So low maintenance. I do have one. Yes. You don't even have to plant them in dirt. You just have them sitting out like that. You spray it once or twice a week, and then you can just have it popped right there. So very easy. This one right here is like a little kitchen dish that I don't know what you would put in, but... But I'm thinking we all have maybe a few of those sitting in our cupboards or like a funneled bowl or just something that you could use. And like right. you said, use these air plants to fill them. Love air plants. They are so easy. And it's a great gift too. Like you could give that to a teacher or, you know, for Mother's Day. It's so easy. And it really kind of puts a little bit of modern style into your decor. It really does. And just set it on the kitchen table and it makes a big difference in right. how it looks. Yes. What do you think about these for outside versus inside? I mean, are they working for both? Where are you putting your West Elm? Where are you putting some of these? So I have this outside and inside. When it's winter, then I will put this inside and I will just put like a really cool fiddle plant in it. Um, a lot of these I have on my porch right now because tis the season, right? It's spring. Right. Let's spruce it up and make it look lovely. But these are all things that you can bring inside. You can just pop it in a little corner and have a moment of um, modern, fresh look in your in your home. So yeah, indoor, outdoor, it's all good. You can do it anywhere. And these yeah. are really fun tips. Great ideas. I love them. Okay, where can we find out more? Oh, gosh. So I have several places that you can look. My blog, Four Men, One Lady. You can check me out on Instagram, Four Men, One Lady blog, the number four and the number one. Awesome. Thank yeah. you so much, Michelle. Really fun. My pleasure. Ideas.